Just simple, just simple singing on top and mm. transcribing your voice. You create mm. like a, a very simple melodic mm. contrapoint. They won't necessarily just write down for, for the beginning. The mm. beginning can be actually easy and, and very nice, just very clean like that. But just to generate material, mm. that composition, you can start assembling later. It's like building up mm, um, little bricks of material that are coming out from the song pitch oscillation chord in this case there is just an interval or, or, or oscillation between mm. the a c Let, let's try What I'm saying is not that this will be totally per you uh, you create like a track which eventually and because you can record it you can actually then when you record it when you record on this part do you actually see the voices that you uh, write and can, yes. that would, uh, I guess is kind of a MIDI track so you once you have the voice you can mm. actually then go and refine or correct the pitches mm. that and shorten it make it longer and then it becomes one of the first layer that mm. you're adding kind of a process of orchestration through addition, okay? okay? And you can do that with different voices. The different voices will inspire your imagination. A flute is different if you were playing mm. like a violin sound. Mm. You know, these sounds are not particularly nice because they're the MIDI sound, mm. but it's fine. Voice. Okay. But what I'm saying that just because in the, vo in the voice of the beginning you have this mm. and that can expand the semitone mm. oscillation as a kind of a, a qu the quality of this kind of a sort of a la lament mm. or kind of a melancholic I don't know if the song is melancholic but the character is kind of the, that kind of oscillation inspired me to find ways to contrapoint mm. that simple piano part with the voice that we kind of start moving around like a, you know wrapping the piano dots with this kind of sustained little lines. And that's a